Dear students, today we are going to discuss Merchant of Venice, Act 4, Scene 1, from line 415. Before this line, you have read that How Sherlock feels completely defeated after the Duke's decision on his case and he leaves the court under the pretext of feeling sick. Children, now let's discuss the scene from line 415. Duke, sir, I entreat you home with me to dinner. Entreat means invite. Here, Duke invites Portia to come and dinner with him. Portia, in disguise of Balthazar, I humbly do desire your grace of pardon. I must away this night toward Padua, and it is meet I presently set forth. Portia says, I humbly ask your grace to excuse me. I must leave for Padua tonight and it is the need of the hour. It is very important that I start soon. Duke, I am sorry that your laser serves you not. I am sorry that you do not have time to spend with us. Antonio, gratify this gentleman. Antonio. You reward this gentleman. You should thank this gentleman. For in my mind, you are much bound to him. Because according to my opinion, you are under a great obligation to him. Here Duke asks Antonio to thank and reward this gentleman for saving his life. The gentleman here is Portia disguised as Baldazar. Uh, after this, the Duke and his followers leave the stage. Bassanio, most worthy gentleman, I and my friend have by your wisdom been this day acquitted of grievous penalties. Here Bassanio says, Most worthy sir, I and my friend have, thanks to you and your skills, been freed from great legal penalties today, in lieu whereof three thousand ducats due unto the Jew, we freely cope, cope means reward, your courteous pains withal. Here Bassanio further says, in return of this help, in return of this courteous service, we would like to offer you the three thousand ducats which we owed to the Jew, which were to be given to the Jew. We would like to offer you this payment for all the pains and trouble you have taken for us. Antonio, and stand indebted over and above in love and service to you evermore. Antonio says, and in addition to this payment, we shall ever owe you a debt of love and service, we shall always be obliged to you for the love and service you have shown to us. Portia, he is well paid, that is well satisfied, and I, delivering you, am satisfied, and therein do account myself well paid. Portia says, the man who is well satisfied is well paid, and I am well satisfied in having been able to save you and therefore I consider myself well paid. My mind was never yet more mercenary. I pray you know me when we meet again. I wish you well and so I take my leave. Here Portia says, I never wanted money. My mind was never more desirous of any better reward than this, that I saved your life. I hope that you will not forget me when we meet again. So I give you my best wishes and take my leave. Bassanio, dear sir, of course I must attempt you further. Take some remembrance of us as a tribute. Tribute means token, token of love. Note as a fee. Grant me two things, I pray you, not to deny me and to pardon me. 
Here Bassanio says, I must try to pay you more forcefully. I am compelled to make a further effort. Take something from us as a remembrance. Take something from us only for the keepsake rather than as a fee. Grant me two things. One, not to refuse my this request and another to pardon me, to forgive me for making it. Here, Bassanio requests Portia to accept something in token of remembrance of their gratitude. Portia, you press me far and therefore I will yield. Portia says, you are requesting me a lot, so I'll agree to your request. To Antonio, give me your gloves. I'll wear them for your sake. Here Portia asks Antonio to give her his gloves and she would wear them in remembrance of him. To Bassanio, and for your love, I'll take this ring from you. Do not draw back your hand. I'll take no more. And you in love shall not deny me this. She asks Bassanio for the ring that he was wearing. She also asks not to draw back your hand. I'll take nothing from you besides this ring. And you must not refuse to give it to me as a token of friendship for me. Bassanio this ring, good sir, alas, it is a trifle. Trifle is a thing of little value. I will not shame myself to give you this. Bassanio says, this ring, dear sir, why, it is very small thing. I would feel ashamed to offer you such a trifling, such a small value thing. Portia, I will have nothing else but only this. And now, methinks I have a mind to it. Portia says, I will accept nothing else but only this ring. And now I think I have feeling that I should have it. Bassanio, there some depends on this than on the value. And dearest ring in Venice will I give you. And find it out by proclamation. Proclamation means announcement. Only for this, I pray you, pardon me. Bassanio says, This ring means more to me than its actual value. I will give you the costliest ring in Venice and send round a man to proclaim it, to announce it, that I want such a ring, which is the costliest in the Venice. But I ask you to excuse me for giving you this one thing for giving you this ring. Portia, I see sir, you are liberal in offers. You taught me first to beg and now methinks you teach me how a beggar should be answered. Portia says, I think sir, that you are quite generous in making offers but not turning them into actions. You first encouraged me to beg to take something and then refuse me as a beggar is refused. Bassanio, good sir, this ring was given me by my wife and when she put it on, she made me vow. Vow means take oath that I should neither shall nor give nor lose it. Bassanio says, good sir, this ring was given to me by my wife when she placed it on my finger, she made me swear that I should never sell it, give it away or lose it. Portia That excuse, excuse means excuse, serves many men to save their gifts. And if your wife be not a mad woman and know how well I have deserved the ring, she would not hold out enemy forever. For giving it to me, well, peace be with you. Portia says, such an excuse makes it possible for many to avoid giving anything away. 
if your wife is not a mad woman if she knew how well i have earned this ring what i have done for you to earn this ring she would not be angry with you for giving it to me well i wish you a peaceful goodbye after saying this porcia and narissa they leave antonio my lord bassanio let him have the ring let his deservings and my love with him be valued against your wife's commandment commandment here means order antonio says my lord bassanio let him have the ring let his great service and your love for me combine to influence you more than your wife's command here antonio requests bassanio to give away his ring to baldazar in return of his great service and help bassanio go graciano run and overtake him give him the ring and bring him if thou canst unto antonio's house away make haste bassanio asks graciano to go run and overtake the judge give him the ring and try to persuade him to come with you to antonio's house make haste go hurry up after this graciano exits come you and i will meet her presently and in the morning early will we both fly toward belmont come antonio then bassanio says come you and i you means antonio you and i will go to your house presently and early tomorrow morning we shall both travel quickly to belmont come antonio here bassanio antonio and graciano they plan to go to belmont the next day so children that's all for today uh, act 4 scene 1 is finished i hope you have understood the explanation well thank you and have a nice day